SEMA 2009. The cars, the parts, the experience. Nobody brings it to you like Power TV. Welcome to floor of SEMA 2009. There are plenty of new products to be had, and here at Professional Products, there's a brand new system called Fuel on Demand. Here to tell us about it is Ken Farrell. Ken, tell us about what this product is and what it's meant to do. Well, this product is meant to uh, control a fuel pump. It uh, reduces the current to uh, EFI, carbureted, uh, can be used in a return or returnless application. And basically, we saw a need for this product out there with all our research and development. And one of the biggest failures going on with the uh, fuel pumps was they were overheating. Guys were running these big pumps, they're making a lot of power, and the pumps start, just start getting hot. As that happens, the, heat, the fuel heats up, the pumps start getting louder, eventually leading to failure. So we came out with an idea that we could lower the fuel current to the fuel pump and kind of treat it like a fuel injector, but let that thing run a little slower, hence the name fuel on demand. The fuel's there when you need it, but when it's not needed, the pump will run much quieter, much happier, you know, basically at a slower speed. And you were telling us that this product essentially is meant for both carbureted and fuel injection type setups. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this will work with a G-rotor, a vein style pump, your old uh, Holly type blue pump, you know, it's been on thousands, millions of cars out there. And, you know, you turn on the key. The biggest thing is people don't realize, and a lot of people do realize, is when you turn on a fuel pump up until now, that thing is on 100%. So when you're sitting there idling, you know, you may not necessarily need 100% of your fuel. You need that when you're under wide open throttle or full power. But, you know, cruising the fairgrounds, stuck in traffic, that thing is just heating up the fuel, uh, running down your battery voltage, and definitely, you know, wearing itself out. So that really brings the reliability factor really high on this product. Oh, absolutely. The, the uh, internal relay, we've got a two and a half bar map sensor. We've done, you know, over a year testing on this product on cars, and it, it's just you know, fail, fail safe product. And it's completely programmable? Completely cr programmable, but we understand that a lot of guys don't have laptops. So we put a little feature in this thing where when a guy takes it out, he could set it up with a magnet, which we supply. You know, it's a watertight system, no switches to the outside, but a guy swipes a magnet by it and uh, it'll flash out a code for him. So it'll be preset for seven pounds of fuel pressure in a carbureted application. Uh, if the guy's running a return regulator in an EFI, it's set for 45 PSI, but one of the nicest features about this thing is it's got a uh, returnless feature, which allows a guy to run a single fuel line to his EFI system, and uh, basically almost any pump, you know, EFI rated pump, and allow it to run 45 PSI without having to run a return line back to his tank. How easy is it to install? It's a four-wire setup. We've got a fuel pressure sensor, a map sensor. You have to run a hose up to your intake manifold. It's good for the blower guys, you could reference it to boost, and I'd say, you know, an average guy is about a half an hour install. Ken, give us a ballpark figure of what it's going to cost. Uh, this product is Jobber at $295, and it'll be available through all our uh, dealers, available on online through the catalogs your local speed shops coming uh, January of this year. All right, to find out more about this product, you can check out professional-products.com. <laughs>